The Saints got their Monday started with a very interesting move, hiring former Raiders general manager Dave Ziegler in an advisor role that's going to last through the draft. So clearly he's going to help consult them when it comes to bringing in their next pool of Saints players. What do I think about the move and what does it mean for the team? Let's talk about it right here on the Straight Up Saints podcast. You're listening to the Straight Up Saints podcast. What is up, Houdet Nation? Welcome back inside another edition of the Straight Up Saints podcast. I'm your host, Chris Rosvoglu, and as always, we're brought to you by Scott Fickner, Injury Lawyers, and DraftKings Sportsbook. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this move for the New Orleans Saints hiring former Raiders GM Dave Ziegler. This one kind of came out of nowhere. I did not have this one on my radar. I didn't expect the Saints to make a move of this scale today. Uh, and it's an interesting name, right? You know, Ziegler was with the Raiders for the 2022 and 2023 season. He was brought in with Josh McDaniels because he's a former Patriots guy. Uh, he was in New England from 2013 all the way to 2021. He was of, originally the assistant director of pro scouting. Then he moved to director of pro personnel. And then be, uh, before he went to the Raiders, was director of player personnel and obviously Raiders making him their GM. And he got fired during the regular season with McDaniels in October. Raiders cleaned house. They kind of said enough's enough. They made the big move. And Look, I think this is an interesting hire. I'm not going to say whether or not it's great or bad for the team because I don't think we can say that right now because we don't know, right? It's an advisory role. He's not going to have the biggest footprint on the team. You know, he might share his thoughts here and there and, and they'll be able to bounce ideas off him and they're going to need that for the draft. But I think for people who think this might be the worst move in the world, pump the brakes. Like we don't need to slam everything the Saints do. And this is coming from someone who's very critical of the way the Saints have done business the last 12 months, I'd say, but we don't have to criticize everything. I don't have to criticize everything. And I think this is the type of move where it's okay to bring in a guy that has a different opinion, comes from a different organization because he primarily is a New England guy. Now, there is crossover between him and Dennis Allen. So before Ziegler was a New England guy for about a decade, he was with the Broncos from 2010 to 2012. He was their player personnel assistant and then their scout. And when he was in there in 2011, I believe, when he was one of their scouts, Dennis Allen was a defensive coordinator of the Broncos. So there is familiarity. I don't know how strong that connection is. Clearly, it's enough for the Saints to have some ties there. But it's worth throwing that out there. There is some ties between Allen and Ziegler. But I think this is a move that for New Orleans, we're all clamoring and begging for them to just say, change up your draft approach. So now they might be changing up their draft approach by bringing in a former GM who has a different philosophy. And then people are complaining about it. I just find it weird. Uh, so we can't have our cake and eat it too. Like it's one or the other. Either you want the Saints to keep doing what they're doing or you want them to switch it up. And if they switch it up, don't really complain, especially when we haven't really seen the results. Looking for a super offer for Super Bowl 58? DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered. New customers can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BOOT. New customers can bet five bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with code BOOT. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Must be 21 or older in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms. And I know everyone's going to look at Ziegler's draft classes and say that they're not great. And I'm going to be honest, they're not. And, and that's part of the reason why I put it out there is for people to see what he's done so far. Uh, you know, I, I like Michael Mayer, the, the, the tight end from Notre Dame. But again, your second round pick, a tight end who had a decent, not great season. That's not something that you kind of like hang your hat on. Uh, you know, obviously looking at his first draft, Zamir White's an okay football player uh, at the running back spot, but not a bunch. Aiden O'Connell in the fourth round, is that a starter? No, but did they maybe get their career back up in the fourth? That's not the worst thing in the world, but you're kind of picking and choosing, and it, there's not a lot of talent to pull from when you look at the Raiders draft class. Now, I do want to throw this out there because context is important. The first draft class he had, you don't have your premier picks in your first and second round because you traded for Devontae Adams. Now, I'm not saying that excuses Ziegler because he's the one who makes the trade, right? He is the guy that says, okay, let's go get Devontae Adams, and signs off on whatever the trade is and makes the deal happen. So that is his decision. So when you look at the 2022 draft, if you're wondering why those picks aren't there, it's because they were used on Devontae Adams. 
But overall, the draft work isn't great. The one thing I will say that I think is worth throwing out there, and I know people are going to say it's one thing, and I agree, it is one thing. But the Raiders last year in the draft, it was well documented that Dave Ziegler wanted them to trade up and get C.J. Shroud. The Raiders just didn't feel like they should. They went with the Jimmy Garoppolo route. Clearly, that was a mistake. But they he wanted Stroud. And if we're being honest, the one thing that Ziegler probably did right at all in terms of thought process was, yes, Derek Carr got the extension when they first got there, but they were easy to move on from that extension. The contract was set up perfectly for the Raiders to get off of it after one year. And then had he gotten his way, which is draft C.J. Stroud, then you had your replacement and a really good one. So, you know, at least at the quarterback spot, there is good thinking there for Ziegler. So it doesn't hurt for the Saints to bring him in. Again, I don't love the draft work he did in Vegas. I don't think it's impressive at all. I think they're two very lackluster classes. But you do have to factor the Devontae Adams trade in for the first one. And I'll finish with this. It is an advisory role. He is not calling the shots. He is not telling them who to draft. He's simply offering his opinion. Saints could maybe bounce off off ideas from him and vice versa. And we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. Do you like the hire? Are you skeptical about it? Optimistic? Indifferent? You let me know, and I'll get back to you. Make sure to subscribe to Boo Crew Media's YouTube page so you get more videos from the Straight Up Saints podcast. The Destination 4.